Your honors, members of the court, the accused are charged with terrorism. I'll focus on that first. As the prosecution so eloquently put, but also left out, the unlawful use of extreme violence against government entities that would pursue disruption, destabilization, or destruction of those entities. That's what, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I left something out for political or religious aims. That's right. The prosecution submitted reports, witness statements, video, phone records, medical reports, a corticopia of evidence, but nothing heard in this courtroom today establishes a political aim. And a political aim, a motive, your honors, is what defines the charge of terrorism. Oh, sure, the prosecution is focused on the, quote, you know, destruction and destabilization of those government entities. But that last part, for political or religious aims. Regarding the first part, violence in our city can always disrupt the functions of governments. And we have charges specifically for that. The attempted murder of an LEO, etc. But again, in this entire case, they ignored half of the charge, political aims. The victims and location of the violence are insufficient to develop that aim, but a motive, political or religious, is needed in addition to that violence. A gunman can attack senior buns, a private business, and massacre civilians unrelated to the government. But if they're complimented with a manifesto about their desires for a monarchy, it is terrorism by the nature of their aim and their stated objective, not their target. And today, in this courtroom, before you, your honors, and before everyone, the prosecution has failed tremendously. A tweet does not substantiate political motive. Meeting adjourned is not a political aim. Throughout the entirety of this case, the prosecution has failed to establish any clear political or religious aim from the defendants. And I repeat, throughout the entirety of this case, the prosecution has failed to establish any clear political or religious aim from the accused. But I find it humorous. Members of the court, I find it humorous because there was indeed political aims established in this courtroom here today. Did you not catch it? It was during the testimony of a one Maximilian thoroughbred the defense showed you how you can establish political aims, not the prosecution. Mr. Thoroughbred, it seems, had the political aims to use this calamity to consolidate power as both mayor and also as a commissioner of the police. But Mr. Thoroughbred is not on trial today. We don't have to expand on that any further. It's the accused that are on trial today. And they are charged with a plethora of other charges beyond terrorism. And I ask you, your honors, is this, what is due process? To find the accused guilty, there cannot be any reasonable doubt regarding these charges. And through his own testimony, Maximilian Thoroughbred has demonstrated he potentially could have intervened in the investigation. The reporting duties of the police, the highest chain of command, was himself. Yet he is also the mayor, also the victim in the case. We already saw that he inserted himself into matters of police work. He declared beyond the office of the mayor himself to be commission, commissioner in a citywide manhunt of the accused. There was no oversight. There was no due process. There was nothing to ensure the fairness and justice that this court seeks to uphold, and that, your honors, you might find this case impossible, but that is your reasonable doubt. I'm not asking you to doubt with your eyes what you might see in a video. I am asking you, through your integrity and honor as judges of the law, I'm asking you, was that due process, or could due process have been destroyed in this case?
to find the accused guilty of any of these charges, you capitulate to an investigation that is compromised by a whole host of corruption. To find the accused guilty, you surrender the laws of the land, the integrity and separation of our judicial system, and you stain the fabric of our democracy at the behest of a despot masquerading as a leader. The defense rests. He stood on business 30 times. This is some big ass motherfucking words, man. I don't understand. Tell your mom I'll buy dinner. All right, all right, all right. Steak's on me tonight, all right? Steak's on me tonight, right? gonna be in recess while we step uh, step out to go and deliver. That was beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, we that got a lot beautiful. to go over here. Uh, it's gonna take us a little while. Uh, I need the oh, defendants shit. who are here uh, to remain in the room. Everyone else. Uh, can kind of roam. We'll put that was the all. When the verdict is going to be read, we'll give you about a 10 to 15 minute lead time. Thank you. Uh, court's going to be in recess. Bro, thank you. I want to eat me. Hey, bro, I don't thank know you, who Honor. you are, but you just stood Andrew, on business like 30 times. Don't get too close to him. I might put a hit out on you again. Don't get hey, too close hey, to him. Hey, Mickey, come uh, here. Thank you oh, for the God. Lord and sir. I appreciate yep. you. Careful. <laughs> That was amazing, Siobhan, I'm Mickey. good. I don't need to buy any more ammo. I'm good. What, what, what was that? I'm playing with my life, Adam. You're playing with my life, man. I'm confused as fuck. Which part? The ending, right before you rest, you said some big ass words. Oh, I basically implied. I basically hey, implied the Maximilian Thoroughbred is a uh, dictator of the city, and that we actually need to have oh, our is. judicial team. Uh, so my question before you went up, right, was isn't it like poisonous fruit of the tree, whatever the fuck it's called, that like he tainted evidence, and basically by being the commissioner and the mayor and the victim, that it should be like a mistrial in a sense? You cocked. Uh, Mickey, you can tell him to shut up if you want. No, 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 no. It's actually a really good point. I, no, no. Uh, Vinny, you're right. We could have. It's not fruit of the poisonous tree. It just calls the integrity into question. Yeah, we we could have cooked we could have cooked for a mistrial, but I'm gonna be honest though. I think like we're 100 percent getting charged with the times 25. Oh, yeah, 100 yeah. The hail mary thing. I think. We never cared about that. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hoping terrorism. I don't think they're gonna. They're not, I think we're gonna be found not guilty on terrorism. You think so? Yeah, Rami, you have this. You have the, the same idea, right? They never established the motive. The fuck have you been? Yeah. They never yeah, established they a motive, and they didn't improve that either. Okay, yeah. we have to talk really, after really whenever happens, so okay? Am I in trouble? No. Oh, okay. Um, Hi, Ray. Holy ah. shit. How are you? I might want to suck you off after what you just pulled off. I think I might. Yeah, um, the other thing is I was kind of secretly not revealing this, you know, some of the strategies so that I could, you know, kind of keep things quiet. Uh, the prosecution yeah, yeah. did exactly what I want them to do. They thought that we yeah, were going to... Yeah, they What's fed that, right? into you. They fed right into it. They went... They, they, I don't know how they threw this. Wow, they, they did. I mean, I, we might still lose, but fuck it. I, hey, I if we get found now guilty, mask. if we get found now guilty, I'm going to take the vest off and we all just smoke. We all do the yeah, no, this shit. Everything. Oh, they fuck it. They took, they took everything. Did I go change it to the... Um... No, 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 no,